Dustin Wankoff here, product specialist with Agland and Lloydminster. Today we're going to do our product support video for our model year 2020-1910 air cart. So now we're ready to go to the field. We're all set up for our crop. One thing, we always want to make sure that our half width disconnects are open. There is no alarm on the tool or, tool or cart that will tell us if these half width disconnects are open or closed. Only our blockage. So if we are putting product out of two tanks into one run, um, one half width disconnect is closed, the other is open, the blockage is going to tell us that we do have product flowing through even though one tank might not be metering. So just always make sure that they're open. The other thing to remember is making sure that we have our slide here in the proper position for top shoot, bottom shoot. So if we've been cycling them daily um, to make sure they move freely, we can put it in whichever position we need. So pulled out top shoot, pushed in for the bottom shoot. Normally, that's where all of our seed is gonna go. Um, smaller, less volume, that's where it's going to go. Our top shoot is going to be made for our fertilizer or higher rate products. One exception to that would be if we are doing peas. Um, if we're doing peas or beans, we might want to drop that product onto the top shoot, but still have it go down our seed openers on the tool. So what we would do then is we will just flip our primary hoses at our cart and tool connection. So with our slides here, we do have to also, in the position they are here, we have to make sure that we tell our display in what position they are. This will allow our blockage to know at which tanks to look for, for either our top or bottom sensors. So if we've been cycling them daily, like we've talked about in our daily maintenance, we just make sure it's in the proper position, that our latch goes down, and then we'll go up into the display and tell it the position they're in. So right now we have our front and middle tank going to the bottom chute, and our rear tank going to the top chute. So now in our air cart, we'll go to our air cart setup, we'll go to tool, go to our next page, and this here is where we'll tell it where each slide is for each tank. So our front and middle tank, they're going to the bottom position, and our rear tank is going to the top. Now the warning we got, that is to say to restart the display after this is done, what that will do is update our air cart controller to our blockage controller. We can now get the warning to make sure that our pressurization valves are in the proper position as well as our slides. You can now restart your display and everything will be updated. So as well as setting our slides for our top and bottom chute, we need to make sure that with our dual fan air carts, we're setting our tank pressurization gauges as well. So once we now have our fan speed set in the cab for both our top and bottom fan, we need to move our uh, banjo valves here. So if we're pulling, if our product is going into the bottom chute, we want to make sure that we're grabbing air from the bottom chute. If we're going in the top chute, we need to make sure that we're grabbing air from the top chute stream. So to set these here, the handles just move and we'll watch on the gauge. On the gauge here we have a green, a yellow and a white. For all products other than canola and inoculant, we want to make sure we're running in the, in the top part of the green but staying out of the red. And for small products like canola and our inoculant, we want to make sure that we have this set in the, in the middle of the yellow for low range. What this does is makes an equal pressure between our tank and our meter box so we don't get any siphoning action. Now to take our auger conveyor out, we have a wired and a wireless remote. We'll turn them on and which remote you want to use. We'll pull the pin, unlatch this handle and our handle at the back.
Once we have it all unlatched, we'll tilt the auger out of the cradle and work in a reverse U to unfold the auger. Now, to fold our auger up, tilt the top down, move our short arm all the way in, and then swing our large arm in. Return it back to the cradle. Engage both locks. Near now complete. So for those of you guys that do oats or barley, um, some grass seed, anything that's staticky and can bridge. Over here we can change our agitator speed um, from high to low. So those are the agitators within the tank. So here all we do is remove this bolt and we can move it from the inner position, which is slow speed, to the outer position, which is high. So any of those products, oats or barley, that we need to do that, um, we can just move it accordingly. Mm -hmm.